Uh, the fans, no doubt about it, here in Brazil, backing Julia Polastri. She's got the red tape and the black trunks. Brenda Gotig, a blue tape, purple shorts, punches her way in, gets a few knees to the body, and Polastri returns the favor. But Gotig now looking for a takedown and gets it. She started off very strong, 100 miles an hour. She's the taller woman. She's got the longer arms. She worked the one-two straight down the pipe. Already got what she wanted. She's got Palashri on the ground, which is what she told us is her stronger game. Yeah, Gotig did not think that Palashri was a threat on the ground at all. She said she is a very good striker, but I want to take her down as soon as I can. Wants to use her ground and pound and strength, and so far, so good for Gotig. And being bigger, being longer, big dog, and being on top is a um, big advantage. Yeah, it's a big advantage. You know, just in the beginning of the fight, both are very fresh. But look, look, Palassi tried to do some arm lock as well, tried to work something. But definitely, like you said, Max, you know, in the beginning of fights, not sweating, both mm. fresh. Ah, oh, good, good moment for Palassi. Yes, Get fights her way down and now puts Gotig on her back. You know, when you have Brazil versus Argentina in a fight, <laughs> Any slight movement in favor of Brazil in an arena like this, you're going to have people chanting and screaming. Look at this. Jirla Palastri raining down elbows, some hammer fists. And you're right, Max, looking to blow the roof off this place. Got to watch those long legs and the up kick, but she punches her way into the guard of Gotik. Judith Palastri are now on top, work in the guard. Gotik still working from the bottom, which is very important. Big Nog, Palashri on top. What's the deal? What should she do? You know, she got she got to control the biceps, you know, throwing the elbows, things like this, you know, being short arms. Because Goti, you know, can do like arm locks, triangle, things like this, you know. And look at the crowd, the crowd is screaming. Yeah. You know what worries me is we had the same ref earlier, stand-up fighters from this same position. That is a good point, Max. So if Palashi doesn't stay active, this fight might have to go to their feet. We were shocked. There was still a lot of yeah. action going on on the ground. And yes, our referee stood the fighters up. We maybe he learned from his mistake. We will see. Definitely he likes strikes. He likes it. He's <laughs> a <laughs> fan of the stand-up game. That's right, Big Nog. Got to respect him for that. I now, like action. <laughs> right. Now, Julia Palashri is in a very good spot. She's in guard, in, in, inside Gotik's guard. But she's got to stay active. Just staying there and putting that body weight is not going to get her anywhere. Under two minutes to go in the opening round. LFA straw weight world championship fight good call there Gotek had her toes into the octagon cage but the half reach went there and pulled out you know she could help to do the arm lock on boards you know arm locks from there yeah. I like the elbows yeah, yeah. that's a good elbow she's going in strong Gets that may have to hurt go Gotek now. too Gotek with the three inch reach advantage. So Velocity trying to get in there close. Very intelligently putting that hand in so she can't defend the elbow. See how she scooted that arm in with her knee? Now Gotik's arm is in between her legs. And caught. Yeah, and she only has one hand to defend herself. Very smart. Very smart, very smart. Under a minute to go and Velocity is landing 95% of her strikes. She's 37 for 39 right now, guys. And doing some damage too, not just quantity. Yeah, the Gucci has had like, uh, you know, one minute maybe. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, she got that back. back very quick. 30 seconds left. An opportunity for Palastri is under I'm 30. Triangle. Now she's going to the arm triangle or not. Very, very good position to be in for the end of a first round. She's, she's going for it, Ron. Yes, she is. Oh, oh, and there's the tap! Back. Wow! Enter Sandman! Wow. Julia Polastri puts Brenda Gotik to sleep. 
with the submission win coming in the opening frame. Unbelievable. Her second submission victory. And there is your new champion representing Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And Big Nog, this place is exploding. Exploded, man. Exploded. She does ever, you know. She went to that contender series. She came back. She won a fight. Very great fight in November. She came back. And today, international fight now between Brazil and Argentina. You see how the crowd bro, went crazy tonight. And by submission, you know, and she impressive. is impressive. Let's wow, check impressive. out the action here. And Gotik had her back against the wall for a little while, but it was this takedown, Big Nog, that really turned the tide. Turned the tide, you know, the great ground and bound. Now she was pretty much controlled. Almost in the end of the round, she went to the back, you know, tried to do the choke. And, you know, when the opponent turned over, she won. She was right there in the Katakatana. Tied to her, you know, she couldn't defend it. Man, it was beautiful to see that there. And Gotig couldn't hold out as time was winding down, only 24 years old. Julia Polastri is your new LFA Strawweight Champion. Let's get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee João Claudio has called a stop to this contest at four minutes and 50 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by submission via arm triangle choke and new LFA Strawweight Champion, Julia Psycho Polastri. There is your fifth LFA Strawweight Champion in promotional history, 24 years young. What a performance by Julia Palastri.